So hello and welcome back to Gumadi's Coins and Banknotes. And in today's video we're looking at the new bullion coins that the Royal Australian Mint has issued. So they did issue two types. We have the giraffe. And if you go to their website, you can actually get a close-up. And there's different species of giraffe, so I need to look it up and see which species that is. And in the background looks like we have mountains or probably desert with snow on the top. That's what it looks like. But this commemorates the Australian Zoo. The Australian Zoo series has different types of coins. And the next one we have celebrates the dolphins. So in here, it's got dolphins hourglass. But no, the actual species name is called the hourglass dolphin. And this is part of the dolphin series. I believe it started in 2019. So, these two coins are not too bad. I like the Dolphin series. Uh, as you can see, there's not that much detail on the coin. So, it does make it quite pleasure. You've got the sunset in the background. You've got the horizon and two dolphins jumping out of the water. And the front of the coin, so this is the front, has the denomination $1. And also, uh, Charles III. And down the bottom, you've got specifications. So it features two hourglass dolphins, uh, struck at the Royal Australian Mint, and circulated finished. Uh, named for its unique black and white markings, the hourglass dolphins are rarely seen, making it intriguing. I've never actually heard of the hourglass dolphins. I know the bottle nose dolphins and everything else. So we can check it. Ah, yeah, there you go. Looks like this dolphin goes for Collingwood. Yay. And I, if you go to Wikipedia, there's a beautiful image of them. No, I've never seen them before. And if you go down, it gives you the threat status. So obviously they're the least concerned. Then it's extinct. And if you go to the map, the map indicates that they are circumantarctic navigation so they don't come up to australia or even new zealand the only landmass actually encounter will be antarctica and south america so you've got patagonia and not even up to south africa so that is pretty much all about the dolphins okay so specifications you go here specifications 40 millimeters one ounce which if you need to know in grams, just go to Numistar, click on, I don't know, any of the other bloody $1 coins they issued. So this is the Spinner Dolphin. You have 31.1 <clears throat> grams. So that's what one ounce is. And it's 3.21 millimeters thick, braided metal alignment, which is like Australian coins. Nearly 100% silver. So obviously, it's probably got some copper in there. And if you go down, you can actually click on the other dolphins that they have. And the mintage. So the mintage is 25,000. Now, sometimes they do have links to coins. Oh, no, not always. So, <clears throat> would these be an investment? Well, I looked up. It's supposed to be investment coins. It's supposed to be you buy it and later on you sell it. Uh, if you look at the actual bullion price, so here we have um, this good website, ABC Bullion. Definitely go see them. They have the bullion price and updates every five minutes. So that's what that timer is there. And currently it is $44.50 Australian per ounce. So that's what you'll be paying. But obviously this is the mint. Uh, they have ever costs above it, you know, like you need energy to actually mine the metal. Uh, this is probably already mined value, but then you need to melt it, cast it as a blank, and also you need the engravers costs. You need the actual, uh, oh, what else? 
the machinery, the energy, and all these other costs that go in it. That's why you're never really going to buy these for bullion value if it costs that much. Now, older coins are different because they costs were actually a lot lower. So pretty much like Morgan dollars, strain, pre decimal, silver coins, you'll be buying, you can buy for bullion uh, because costs before that was actually lower. Probably inflation wise, it was the same. But you need to check that up. So that's why you come to the inflation calculator. So here I've got fifty dollars ninety seventy five is equivalent to four hundred and twenty one dollars now. So to sell a fifty dollar note and get it for <clears throat> just inflation value, you need to sell it for that much. But most fifty dollar notes from nineteen seventy five don't. You'll be lucky to get hundred dollars. So. It's better off you just spending it or investing it in something that's going to give you a better return. So that's why currency is not as good as what people think. Okay, so here we go to the Royal Australian Mint. And I have investment coins. And you got a list. Oh, it ends in 2022, so I don't need to update it. So we've got the, the uh, Year of the, the Tiger, so the Chinese themed investment coins. and the, Obversity is actually quite good. I like that. Has all the animals, the Chinese zodiac, and the effigy in the middle. It's actually a lot better than it just being a plain effigy like this one. Then we've got scorpion coin. So that's actually quite nice. But you can see the cheetah coin. We'll see how much cheetah coin is cost uh, in a minute. Okay, we'll go to Max Stern. How much are they selling it? They're selling it for 60 bucks. Which is, uh, about 25% over bullion. Make it whatever you will. But they're probably not making that much money from the Royal Australian Mint. If we go to... Okay. Bullion coins on eBay. So here's all the sold values. And these probably all sold for $60. And as you can see, 2022, so it's been two years. Uh, these are selling pretty much still for whatever the issue price was. We've got a whole bunch here. And if we go back, yeah, you can see someone's trying to pump and dump some of these coins. Where is it? Okay, the new one, trying to pump it up dump for double the price just don't buy this uh eventually he's just gonna have to try and get rid of it and i doubt it this is a computer generated image these are all pretty much the coin images so obviously they don't have this coin i uh, can't okay, you're waiting for it so don't buy into the hype but i don't think people do buy into the hype with these uh silver coins not like they do in the united states okay here we have the cheetah coin. So obviously the cheetah coin been three years. Uh, don't worry about the camera room, we're talking about the Australian. And as you can see, they're still going for pretty much issue price back then, 65. And that's it. Oh, Byzantine coin. Yay. Okay, so there hasn't been that many yeah, that have been sold. Uh, how about I click unsold? Okay, yeah, so they're still selling them for 60, 70, 80 bucks, 80 bucks with our postage. So that one's a bit expensive. And then you've got some other silver coins as well. So what else can we compare it to? Uh, kangaroo coin. Let's see how much they go for. They usually don't go for $60. Okay, so these are. Bullion coins. Let's see, Australian. Okay, so bullion. Okay, yeah, so as you see, $40 at the moment. Uh, these ones are trying to sell for $60. Let's see if we can see any sold items, which we probably can. 
Okay, 60, 60. Yeah, so this is pretty much standard price. It's just $60 for any of these bullion coins. Uh, don't purchase any more. Okay, 1993. One Troy ounce silver kangaroo. That's what I wanted to look up. These older one ounce coins. Yeah, and that one went for less. Maybe put a date, 1993. I think that was the first year of issue. Get rid of bullion. Okay, let's see. Yeah, fifty dollars. These are going up. These used to be about forty bucks. Obviously, obviously, that's when silver price was a lot lower. Uh, now I don't know what the issue price of this. Obviously, it's probably going to be about ten to twenty dollars. I would say. So over time, you probably would have earned money. But these only go up and down with the silver price. So obviously, um, it's, yeah, these are really not good investments. So if we go to inflation calculator, um, yeah, $50. We go 1993, see what happens. So it should be, yeah, double the price now. So, if you purchase these in, oh, well, for thirty dollars in nine nine three, you still need to get sixty one dollars. So maybe you made a little bit of money, but obviously with these type of things, and if you look at the other bullion sellers, you need volume to actually buy and sell this type of stuff. And with coins in general, you do need volume, uh, but some items you need less volume. Then with other items, so current circulating coins you need a whole heap of coins just to make I don't know five percent profit. But with Roman coins, if you're lucky, you might be able to pick up really good examples. Put on I don't know twenty thirty percent uh, markup and then resell it again. It doesn't always work, but it can sometimes. Like I got a. Uh, that's a hard one to get is a Grease Strike 1927 penny, picked up for a dollar, sold it for 150. That's an outlier. That doesn't happen all the time. That's just a fluke, and I've never done that again. Uh, but as you can see, there's quite a, there's a lot of coins that can actually do this to. So if you wanted to get into coin selling, you need to specialize. In a certain area, because you, I've tried it. You just cannot know what area, uh, every area. So all areas of coins, because it's just too many, it's too much knowledge, and it's like trying to do physics and trying to do everything in physics or chemistry. You can do organic chemistry, um, material science. Uh, you can do, you know, be a geochemist. They are all different examples, atmosphere, chemists, something like that. So I know I sound a bit uneducated, but I'm trying to get down uh, and make it as simple as possible. Because, you know, if you talk about um, dikes, cleavage, uh, fishes, diapers, stuff like that, sedimentary structures a lot of people are not just not going to understand because they've never been in that before if you go to ebay got a lot of ever so here's a zebra coin from chad another coin from barbados and some other different types of silver coins so look around and see what you can actually find now this is good if um you want to keep the value of your currency that's what these should be used for in silver stacking and gold stacking is it going to build your wealth so make one dollar two dollars into four dollars uh no it will go up with inflation but that will go up with prices so in other words uh 
you can probably buy the one apple or the one group of apple with these coins at all time periods. But what you want to do is make this so you can buy, say, one group of apples with this one coin. But you want to make it so you can buy two groups or three groups of apples with this one coin, which this coin will not do. So you need to make this coin earn money somehow. And we're talking about fiat currency because that's what we use. Uh, this is just a store of wealth, and that's what it should be. Because I don't think gold and silver is going to come back as a currency. It's just too many people now, nearly 8 billion people. Uh, I don't think we mine enough gold or silver to cater for those people. And even if they bring did bring silver and coin back, they'd still use banknotes as multiples of this currency because once again, there's just too many people to have all that silver in their hands. So I hope this helped you with your coin and banknote collecting. Thank you very much. Uh, yep, just remember, I don't, personally, I don't collect these coins because five, ten years' time, is still going to be equivalent to what you see here if the silver price stays the same. Uh, if the silver price goes up, it will probably go up. Now, if it goes down, which I don't think it will, uh, we will, that will be very interesting. I don't think people will be likely to reduce the price of these coins because they're just going to make a loss, and that just doesn't happen these days. Anyway, thank you very much, and have an awesome coin and bank now collecting time.